Wimbledon are enjoying a lovely start to this season. Unbeaten, two consecutive wins. And they've been a consistent team. Ten players have started every game. And Johnny Jackson makes no changes to the 11 from last week's 3 0 win at Sutton. Boris Green have been navigating their way through choppy waters for a year or so now. They are third bottom after last season's relegation. Did beat Harriet on match day two, though. Nathan Holland goes straight into the team this afternoon after signing from MK Dons. Eight points so far for Wimbledon, really has unexpected form from a team that's, that's won just once since the end of January before this campaign kicked off. Must have been doing something right in pre-season. He just takes a chance and Forrest Green may look to profit here. McAllister wants to be on his favoured left. And the shot at goal from Charlie McCann, cannons off the post. It's the sweeping motion from the Northern Irish youngster. Down the line, aimed for the corner flag, which Alamadi does his best to win. And swinging crosses just over. Might even have clipped the top of the crossbar from Reeves. Great delivery from Tilly. Really well brought down by McAllister. And zipped in. He'll be backed up by Holland. In his first game for the club and towards McAllister, tackled, comes to Holland again. Blocked on route to goal. Forrest Green making their presence felt here in South London. The visitors have just got two league wins since mid-December of last year, including one this season, so it was such a bleak second half of the campaign for Forrest Green. And comes the cross now, header is wonderfully saved. And Matty Stevens takes a moment to process just how that was kept out by Alex Bass. His namesake Taylor tells him he did all he could. The old classic, either side, and that's in the back of the net. What is cross? Dealt with. Get the ball. First half substitute. And that looks like it could be a painful one as Neufeld attempted to send it goalward. Little's cross, ball's up, ball scores! Oh, the guy who describes himself as a goal-scoring midfielder. Talks the talk and now walks the walk. Wonderful run and leap. Wimbledon have scored eight goals this season. That's the first one they've scored before the half-time whistle. Forrest Green will be kicking themselves with a few missed chances. It's just the nature of these leagues where so many teams can compete with each other to a strong degree. Maybe Wimbledon will go and look for a second tier. And will win the free kick though. Tilly. Oh, just too high. Corners, free kicks. That's Tilly territory. Not far away.
Forest Green haven't won away from home since the first day of last season. Going to find a couple of goals here to inject a bit of positivity into what's been a slow start to season 23-24. And that's a wonderful touch towards goal. And skidding across the now wet turf. Well saved. And Stevens looked to find the bottom corner. McAllister burning his way down the right hand side. Putting one in beautifully for McCann. Looking cross. Been easily by Bass. And he's looking to get things going rather sharpish. And Al Hamadi suddenly, in the blink of an eye, was through one on one. And that is likely to be up there with one of the most disappointing finishes of the entire season. It's gone out the stadium from the edge of the box. Hamadi's missed chance means that Forrest Green are still well in this. As McCann clips on forward. There's substitute Dini over Bass and into the back of the net. A quarter of an hour after coming off the bench, Dini makes his League Two impact. And just try giving a bit of it to Troy Deeney from behind the goal, he'll give it right back to you. The determination, the aplomb to lift it over Bass, but nobody wanted it more in the goal line. And Forest Green are level. It's the first time Forest Green have scored an equalising goal since February. The powers of recovery are fairly limited normally. But they've got time here to go and find a winner. Wimbledon will feel the same. Clipped in. Opportunity here for Neufel. Blocked. And then a superb sliding tackle. And Forest Green survive. Al-Hamadi thought he was about to pounce on the rebound. Wonderful work from Bernard. McCann. This is intricate from Forest Green. Until it mattered. Tilly. Neufel roared on by the home support. Al Hamadi's on the overlap, that's where it goes. And that's a great tip over the crossbar from Daniels. And like most goalkeepers, is furious about something after making a wonderful save. Only 1 1, but it's been a brilliant encounter here in South London. Wimbledon have had opportunities to stretch their lead before Forest Green equalised in there. Scavenging for a winner here, but they won't find it. Spoils are shared. And that probably suits, in fact definitely suits the visitors more than the hosts. Who were looking to make it three consecutive wins. But points matter for Forest Green at the moment, and they'll take that. And finishes Wimbledon 1, Forest Green Rovers 1.